yesterday I did an unscripted video for Patreon because my canker sores were making talking too hard. I really hope I managed to get through the scripted one without so many takes that my canker sores mean I can't do it. I've done a bunch of work on my YouTube channel recently, turned on things I didn't realize needed to be turned on, added a channel trailer. I even found the YouTube Creators Hub and started doing courses. Yes, I am such a student geek. After a portion of a second day's work on YouTube, I turned my attention to my Patreon page. After getting the page trailer video and a thank you for pledging trailer up, I even got Audrey Dolly to sign thank you. Pledge at least a few dollars and you'll get to see the cuteness too. But then I turned back to YouTube Creator Hub stuff. I was amused to see something. Goodness, I wish I could figure out video editing. Although, with YouTube's free video editing software going away in September, I'll have to either watch for YouTube to offer something new or find other learning video editing tools that aren't too hard for me to figure out. But with no video editing, you do not get any lovely screenshot, so I'll use words to describe instead. Underneath featured channels on the right side of my channel page, it says related channels. Right now, ASL Stew Life is the only recommended channel. Well, I shared that humor with Jill and Jenna Stewardson of ASL Stew and ASL Stew Life. They are a deaf hearing lesbian couple who I watch a lot. But beyond talking about things like deafness, captions, queer identities, we don't have a lot in common. My focus is erotic fiction and BDSM, or rather my main focus. Their focus on the Life channel, not so much on their main channel ASL Stew, is simply being a deaf hearing lesbian couple and all sorts of things that interest them. Well, I think their intro includes their deafness, accessibility, interpreting, and more. Of course, there's their cats, and they do internet challenges on ASL Stew Life. Also, now that Jill's pregnant, there's pregnancy and baby stuff. Uh, I don't remember them ever talking about erotic fiction or BDSM. Jill joked about all things deafness. I'll share the link to their discussion page on ASL's Stew Life so you can read all of Jill's response to my comment. I mean, what's next? Will Ricky Pointer show up in my related channels? Because I have a vlog titled listening to Ricky Pointer and more. I was literally listening to Ricky as I wrote the script, and she got me thinking. Ricky has the distinction of encouraging me to captioning all my videos thanks to her No More Craptions campaign. And that makes me think. Well, this whole vlog makes me think about Patreon and their featured tags, and how I was thinking to write a support, a post supporting some tag I'd like as featured. Although I did end up choosing BDSM, as that's usually there for me, regardless of other tags that might fit. So mentioning Patreon, I'll take the moment to mention my page, link in the comments, where you can watch a similar although not exactly the same trailer video as the one I made for this YouTube channel. Beyond the liking of this video if you enjoyed it, I ask 
that you consider pledging a few dollars on Patreon. It'll help me to create these vlogs as well as the erotic fiction that's largely shared on my website. Still amuses me that I never thought to mention the like button in the past, but then my master and I are struggling with both of us in our depressions, seeing everything as our fault, as everything we do being wrong. In addition to my Patreon, I'll share all the channel links I mentioned, as well as my usual social media. Of course, the subscribe button is invaluable to getting notifications of when I post, since I'm crap about trying to post on the same day every week. Thanks.